Salutations, this is Grim Devel. Welcome back to our Let's Play of RimWorld. Uh, we are the Bionic Superhumans, and we are continuing with this game, at least for the time being. Last episode was pretty devastating. Weirdian is very dead, and um, already rotting. Already rotting, as Dorkling, I believe, pointed out. And I should have really prioritized uh, freezing Weirdian, because um, you've been dead for three days already, which is really bad. Pockers, please haul Weirdian. Um, because uh, if we ever do find a resurrection serum, which I don't know if we will or not, but um, is there room in here for a corpse? Hold on. You're not bringing them to the right place. No, 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 no. Um, this is not good. Uh, we need... We are putting colonists in here. Yes. And... Um, All right, here's what we're gonna do. Zone, stockpile zone, is right here, very briefly. Critical, clear all, except, what? Human corpses, colonist corpses. Okay. And um, none of these are allowed to have colonists. There you go. So, clear. Paul, now you should go over there. Good. And once you get there, you can clear out something that's here. Mello, what are you doing? Oh, binge again, Ambrosia. Well, okay. Fine. So, yeah. Um, we want Weirdian. We're going to try to freeze Weirdian before he desiccates. Um, and then if we do find a resurrection serum, he might not come back to full functionality, but at the very least, uh, we may be able to, um, get his body parts off of him. You never know. Uh, let's get a new zone. Let's just like start putting some stuff here. Cause this is crazy. Uh, copy, paste. What do I want? Um, Oh, what don't I want here? Oh, we can put some, like, items here. And, uh, what are these? Heart, yeah, maybe some of that stuff. Body parts. Uh, oh, that's in, that is in there. Haul the heart quickly. Good. Yeah. All right, that's fine. Now, wait, no, don't str- oh. Get rid of the zone. Hall Weirdian. Okay. Now, in theory- oh, it is freezing in here. I mean, it's not freezing in here. This is bad. The darker temperature is fine, it's just- at least it's refrigerated? Oh, it's, it is- it says it's frozen. Oh, right now, it's briefly frozen, but um, these walls are not really keeping out the temperature very well. It's frozen right now, but it's not great. Things are just not great here. Things are bad. You're coming back to Bringe on Ambrosia. Is the temperature really affected when you open the door? A bit, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, then it drops again. We need to make sure we keep this filled. It's got seven hours of fuel in there right now. Oof. Okay. And I guess I will keep this door closed just to keep out more air because I think that was the problem or part of the problem. All right, Pockers is asleep here. You're still pinching in Ambrosia. Stop opening the fridge door, Mello, in the middle of the night. All right, it's still frozen. So Weirdian should be... It says you're rotting. I don't like that. You should be frozen. Oh, look at all this beautiful stuff. It's all gone. Look at all these beautiful skills that are all gone. Oh. So, what are we going to do? So, this is a fun little group, having Mello and Pockers. Pockers being the man in black, who is a very uh, passionate um, and kind of awesome character that the game threw at us with pink hair, um, despite wearing 
all black attire. Um, Undergrounder is cool. Um, Super Moon is also cool. Misogynist is not great, but Mellow is male, so doesn't make a big difference for our colony right now. Um, what do we need to prioritize? Um, Pockers, do you cook? Yeah, you're cooking, which is important. We have a lot of fixing to do. And Mello should really do that once Mello gets out of the binge. If we're attacked again, we're probably done for. I think we're going to try to let this go as far as it'll go. Which probably isn't too much longer. But it is what it is. Oh, I never hit world. But if we we may want to... If I hit world, it'll take a little bit to load up the world map. But we may want to take Pockers and Mello and just leave here. And go exploring. We have... You have an assault rifle, and do we have a second assault rifle? A psychic shock lance. Yes, we have two assault rifles. So we could just take those assault rifles, take a little bit of food, and uh, go out. Um, go out and loot and raid and stuff like that. That might be good. That might be fun. Because... This is not working as a homestead anymore, I don't think. I mean, we ha it's nice, but with just two colonists, I think it might be better to just get out there. Um, of course, we don't have a lot of food to do. To <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do about food if we're on the road. Hmm. All right, Mel is no longer binging. You should have had a catharsis, and your mood will go up because of that. And then you need rest. Uh, how's your health? Stop it. Health. Yeah, you've been patched up badly, but you have been patched up. Okay. Temperature's good here. And we have the stupid minky. At least we have this nice room now. At least there's that. All right, let's speed things along. Um, there is ambrosia here. We don't need more ambrosia. Elephant, yeah, meat's rotting away. Uh, oh, great. <sighs> Bockers, we need them. Please refuel. This is important. Refuel now. Put as much wood as you can in that thing. Good. And then when you're done, keep refueling. Oh, I was actually three day only three days. Okay, whatever, it's fine. All right. Things are bad. Things are just bad. Once mail is back up, things will be a lot better. But still, oh man, there's no point in in doing all this. Just haul it in. There's no point in harvesting this. We have food that we can't even cook. It's fine. What are you doing? Don't stop it. All right. First of all, there's that. And secondly, cook before you harvest. Where's what is harvest? You sh you are cooking before harvesting. Oh, we have. Ah, uh, okay, if you don't need to cook then, sure, go harvest. I wonder if right now hauling might be better. Haul, then plant cut. Yeah, we need hauling. Fuckpackers do that. We need hauling badly. Okay. Mel's getting some sleep. Let's speed things along. Yeah, we would need food. We can always bring stuff. We can always do hunting and cooking the meat along the road. We can do that. Um, I would like some a couple of bed rolls if we're going to do that. Um... I don't think we have a lot of stuff to make bed rolls out of right now. 45 camel here. 
Uh, furniture. Bedroll. It takes 40, so we can make a camel hair bedroll. And I think we should. And... We don't have enough hyperweave. We don't have enough elephant leather. I think we're going to have to... Oh, we do have enough elephant leather. Okay. Um, yes, I know we don't have a research bench. I did not mean to do that. Um, in fact, we could make two elephant leather bedrolls, but I think I think this will be fine. Just so we can travel with some stuff. Herbal meds. Of course, it would be good to get more research. That would be excellent. That would be excellent. I mean, that is... A, we may just want to stay here and try to get a research up. But I think to be able to do that, we need more colonists joining us. And I'm just afraid about... Because we still have a lot of wealth in this colony because of the architect, which we knew. And we are playing on the savage difficulty, or the highest difficulty, whatever it is. Uh, and I don't want to lower that yet. I think when this game ends, we might try maybe something similar on a lower difficulty. Um, and just, like, really go around having fun just destroying everyone um, with a little more ease. But for the time being, I think uh, I think we want to keep it hard. In my humble estimation. Is this, um... Yeah, it's still outdoors. Um, we might as well rewall these so that things aren't deteriorating. Mela, how you doing? You're resting. You don't really need to bed rest. There. Go do stuff. Oh, yeah. Good, good, good. Weird Ian. Um, no more corpses. No, not that. No. Can you not haul? You haul. Let me just tick it, maybe? Okay, there you go. Excellent. Bury your friend, and that'll make everybody feel better. Lovely. And it's a good sarcophagus. Calvin Mellow Horn Torment with Weirdian is the title. Let's take a look at this. The sarcophagus bears a representation of Jack Quartertooth being... Be, who's Jack Quartertooth? Being slain with an elephant tusk with cold efficiency. Weirdian is covered in intestines. The scene takes place on the outskirts of a settlement. The dynamic structure of the image almost conflicts with its unoriginal style. This representation tells the story of Weirdian slaughtering Quarter Tooth in close combat. So one of the one of the people that's dead, that Weirdian killed with an elephant tusk, was named Jack Quarter Tooth, I guess. And you've been buried. There's Dorkling. Oh, elephant meat's all rotting away. What are you gonna do? There's Crunchy. Um, there you are. There's Quarter Tooth. Neat. Cool. Okay, that's done. Uh, yeah, it's not freezing in here anymore. There's not much we can do about that, unfortunately. I mean, we'll want to just put stuff in here that can rot. Let me build another door. We get a couple more wooden walls here. That might help a little bit. A little bit. Okay. Um, so I'm glad Mello's like doing stuff now and is functional. Burying all these colonists will help. You're doing the construction stuff first, which is fair. Okay. Yeah, this fuel is not going to last us very long. And then we're going to need to chop more wood. We really need to research. If we're going to do researching, we need to research batteries, which is what we were researching, I believe. 
So... Can I just put a research bench in here? Um, will it work there? Will that be fine? I mean, it won't block the air conditioning, I don't think. Yeah, let's do it. And then one of these chairs... We can reinstall right there. Thank you, Mello. That's very nice. And then we will have to chop more trees for wood and soon because that is our only fuel source right now. And that is annoying because trees take a long time for to chop. Uh, not It won't take a long time for Mello to chop, but it's not ideal. Okay. You're clearing this out. It's fine. The food. Let's take food out of this. No more, um, no more raw food, no more meals, no more chocolate, none of this. Okay. Oh, and then Mello, we do want you equipping this. Actually, equip it now, then go do whatever you were going to do. Good. Two colonists with assault rifles. We already in is buried. Ambrosia's ready to harvest, but we still have Ambrosia. And people are just going to binge on it. We have... We have plenty of food here now for the meals we need. We don't need a lot of meals right now. All right, this the second door, I think, will help with the temperature leakage. I think... Oof, that it is still... I guess ideally we would, like, do that. Build a door here, and then I deconstruct this one. I guess that would be better. Hmm. It takes so long for these doors to close. We need repairing done. Mello should be working on that, though. When there's nothing else to, um... To build, but there's a lot of stuff to build. Oh, yikes. All right, speed things up again. At least they have a nice place to sleep. At least there's that. At least we have re uh, freezing and refrigeration. Even if it doesn't always stay frozen. Um, and I don't know if Weirdine is going to stay frozen in this sarcophagus. But we'll see. Are you just visiting it? Yeah, you're visiting it. Hopefully you're not too... You got some scars there. Mello, do you have any scars? Nope, you're fine. Everything's architect. You don't get scars. You're basically a, ro a cyborg. You are really fast at research. Cargo pods. That could be very useful. Uranium. I mean, not useful right now, but when we get to needing to make advanced components, it will be. We have a ton of elephants down here. We still could try to train some of those, but the elephants really did not come in handy when we were raided last time. And that's partially my fault um, because I did not use them effectively. Cool. So that's good. We have research again, a research bench again. We're researching batteries and hopefully we'll be able to do that relatively quickly. So Mello is a busy beaver. Oh, you want to wear flak vests? Even though it's a dead man's flak vest, it still is probably going to be useful. Poor came out here, bedroll, but now we can at least leave here. Normal elephant leather one. Brief minor break risk, but we're okay. And you're making stuff better. That's the important thing. How are we doing on fuel? 1.2 days. We're going to need more wood. Um, Mello... Uh, let's chop some wood, actually. I'm gonna prioritize that for a while. Because we're gonna need to refuel. And you are you are very fast at chopping down trees. Okay. Pockers. You do whatever. Uh, cooking is your main thing. Okay. Okie dokie. 
Keep it on, keep it on. Uh, we're doing a lot of hauling. And that's fine. Um, okay. And then when you're done that, okay. Someone will need to refuel that soon, but I think that'll happen. No one's cleaning. Um, at some point, I might have pockers do more cleaning than hauling. Uh, yeah. I might just have to haul things in on an as-needed basis for a while. Does the uranium go bad? I don't remember where it fell exactly. Somewhere down here. No, it does not go bad. So we can just leave that there for a while. Pockers is having a little break risk. And you are cleaning now. And that'll make everyone generally happier. This room isn't being used. Burned wood floor. Um, I mean, I guess we'd have to refloor it. It's probably really ugly. But I'm going to leave it for now. Really? Okay. I think I'm going to have Mello have to take care of that. Um, where are you, buddy? Uh, what? Oh, no. Don't worry about that right this second. Well, actually, Pockers, what are you doing? Cleaning dirt? Oh, this is all home area. Let's see. Whoever comes around here first. Maybe the monkey will take care of that cobra for us. What do you think? All right. Let Mello do whatever. Oh, you're going out here. All right. Well, let me make sure you do all of them and then haul some back. Okay. Wow, it does take you a while. Boom. All right, eat. That's fine. Mellow got food poisoning. Incompetent cook. Well, that's Parker's' fault. I don't know if you need to clean up all this outside stuff, but... Yeah, elephant meat's going to keep running away. Oh, was it over here? Oh, it was right there. My bad, I guess. Uh, we still have plenty of food for the amount of people we have. Not the biggest deal. All right. Now come over here. Oh, the monkey is in there. And not dealing with the cobra at all. We'll hold you open. All right. And then I assume Mello will do this one as well. But just to force it. Okay, here we go. Let's deal with this cobra. So it doesn't bite us in the middle of the night. Um, that cobra's getting close. I want the cobra to go away. Okay. Nope. You missed. Um... I go. Oh, no, the cobra's fine. Okay, good job. Uh, haul the cobra. I assume you're gonna haul it here, please. Where are you hauling it? No. Uh, animal corpses can go here. Good. Okay. Well, hopefully that thing won't poison us in our sleep now. Mellow's still doing okay. It takes a long time for these ship chunks. Yeah, that catharsis is really important. Still in serious pain, but you're totally healed now. You dig it. Oh, right, the food poisoning. And that's slowing you down, I think. So when you're done this, haul the components. Because they'll go bad. The steel won't. Oh, we moved the chess table. Excellent. Playing chess. It'd be really nice, Pockers, when you've done that, to clean some of the dirt in here. And then some more of the dirt, and then maybe even some more. Okay. Good. 
speed things along. Metal could finish up. I love the, the way the water moves here. Oh, you took all the components. Excellent. Um, hopefully they'll come in handy. Uh, yeah. And then, now you're vomiting. That's fine. Just, that's fair. Thanks you for vomiting outside. No, all the components first. Then, refuel and then eat. Okay, we got to be a little micromanaging here, but that's not a big deal because they're only two colonists. I have a feeling that we're going to be raided again soon, and it's going to be another bad raid, and we're just going to die. Or something else terrible is going to happen. All right. Eat up. And you did refuel, yes? Yes. 2.3 days. Does not go... The wood does not go very far. Does not last very long. I'm sure the more um, grid access you have, the faster it goes, probably, I'm guessing. Okay. Yeah, I think the airlock is helping, now that we actually have an airlock. Um, and this I'm not too worried about, I don't think. I mean, it is increasing the temperature every time they open this door, but uh, what are you going to do? I mean, at some point, I can maybe expand this and make this another airlock or something, or I, I, I don't know. All of our plans got, got waylaid. That's the right word. Chickens join! Whoa, that's a lot of chickens. Okay. Fine. Chickens can stay, and, um, we're going to have a coop. Cool. And the coop, I guess for them in the meantime, just like hang out around here. And we'll get eggs and stuff. The monkey can stay there, too. We're going to be slaughtering that monkey. Okay. And we'll get... We should be getting a lot of eggs and stuff from that, which will be good for food. Or we can sell them when the trader comes. All right, we have Research Bench, and it is a priority of Mellows, but everything is a priority of Mellows. We don't have any mining going on. You do need to grow, although maybe it is time to have Pockers do some growing, too. Before hauling? Yeah, before hauling, after cleaning. Uh-huh. And Mellow can take a li take it easier on that then? Yeah, we need less growing, I think. Then you can still plant cut because you're really fast. Constructing is still a thing. And then crafting and then research. You should be able to do a little research now. Yes, but you will repair these walls, which is good. Glad about that. I don't know what to do with this room. I'll just leave it. Welcome, chickens. Uh, all right. I, I, I think the game will probably give us an opportunity to get another colonist soon. But we'll see. It would be fun to go go out reading. But we also need new tech. Huh. I think next episode, though, I might still take Mellow and Pockers. Maybe I'll actually leave Pockers here to kind of, like, keep up the base. And all the wealth of this base, for the most part, will leave with Mellow. And then just have Mellow just solo it. Going out, trying to, like, conquer on his own. 
Uh, let me know what you think about that idea in the comments. Um, we are doing some researching now, which is really nice. And Mello, um, he'll probably do more tomorrow. But research is getting up there, and we are we are going to get some some battery batteryage crafting. Oh, that's wait. Oh, um, construction is at five. It's almost at six. Very close to six. And at six, I think we can start doing chem fuel generators. Not that we have any chem fuel. And water mill generators. And that we could use. We really could do uh, water mill and then power lines going up. That might be nice because that should be a steady source of electricity. And I've never built one before. Yeah, that looks cool to me. Um, yeah, I guess. Down here. Oh, I guess the, um, oh, the, I see. The square, the white square needs to be close to the river. Put one there. And then power lines up. Cool. So, Mello will work on that eventually. And we got batteries. And what are we going to research next? Um, what's going to be important for us? Plate armor would pr is probably going to be important for us. Because um, it's easy to make, but we're going to need some. Slows movement, but protects very effectively. That should work out for Mello, who already has fast movement. I think. Then again, we're not going to be able to... No one has good crafting. Uh, Pockers might actually have decent crafting. We could just go straight for flak armor, though. Uh, yeah. Is there anything else we might want before that? Solar panels, hydroponics, IEDs. Uh, no. Do we want flak armor or plate armor? You know what? I think we skip plate armor and go straight for flak armor. Because we can't. We have machining. Let's do it. Cool. And Pockers, what's your crafting? One, and you don't have passion. So really, it should be Mela doing all the crafting, even though you are really bad at it right now. Crafting spot here. No bills, but we don't have any bills at this one either, do we? Yeah. I'm just going to get rid of this. All right. Well, I think that's going to be the episode. So thanks for watching, everybody. Um, Mello, when you build those, does it increase your um, construction? It does. Okay. Then hopefully even making those power lines might even get you to 6,000. Although, uh, I'm not sure. It is a little slow going. We have the steel for it? Uh, not really. We might have to mine out some more steel. But we have some over here. Anyway, I enjoyed playing with you today. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments about the idea of having Mello out on his own um, and just trying to, like, attack uh, pirates or whatever, or colonies. <laughs> Probably will die pretty quickly, but we'll see. Um, so let me know. I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.